Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use vacuum chambers as foundation support. So you can make a floor in your underwater base just above the water's surface. I think it looks really nice and it's very useful. Uh, I usually would bring the snap point from what I already created like over to another area, but I'm just going to go over here and start fresh and show you how to do it. So first you're going to need to find an area on the cave walls or wherever you're at where you can place down a vacuum chamber just at the water's surface. And I usually line up looking directly north, south, east, or west for all my bases. It makes some other mechanics in the game work out nicely like breeding ranges. And then I use an auto clicker and slowly descend and it will place it the first instance that it can here. If I turn it on, there we go. And it'll place a few extra, but you just pick those up and now you have a vacuum chamber at the water surface and you place down ceilings and it looks really nice. So when it comes to foundation support and making a floor, ceilings can only be placed uh, two out from the vacuum chamber. Once I go here, it doesn't have foundation support anymore. And that's different than a foundation like this, but I don't think it's really that different. I assume that foundation support is just like a point in the middle of a foundation, which the vacuum chamber counts as. So if the middle of the vacuum chamber was right there, that's actually a whole ceiling length right here. So that is still three ceiling lengths. So that being said, if you want to create a floor with the vacuum chambers, you're going to need a lot of them, but I came up with a pattern that is pretty optimal. And it looks like this. You're just going to have to get rid of all of those. And this is the pattern you're just going to keep repeating because you can put the two ceilings that way, this way, this way, and this way. And now they're all connected. They provide foundation support. You can put a ceiling all over all of these and obviously fill this in and it looks more like a floor. And to repeat it, you can kind of see the way that these are going. So I can put down more this way, more this way. Get rid of these. And then bring some over here i'm pretty sure yeah like that and then it's the same idea start bringing them down like this it's kind of weird and it might take you a few tries to find the rhythm of it and space them all out correctly but you can see how this is repeating now and i'd be able to put down a floor almost everywhere. It might get a little weird right here, and I might have to put down another vacuum compartment. Let me see how this works. And that's pretty good. In some spots, it will get weird, because you might have to put one really close to the wall, but it's not, like, close enough. Let me see if I can show you what I mean. See, so yeah, right here, I think, is going to work. So... To fit this pattern and make it work, I'd have to put like a vacuum chamber in there and then over there. And so this spot's going to be a little weird. I think I'll put down a couple more here. Yeah, but this won't get any foundation support unless I put down another vacuum chamber like under these ceilings right here. And that's kind of wasteful. So usually I just kind of like turn a blind eye to it. Or you can get a foundation to snap uh, sometimes if it's close to the wall and it's really nice like this. And then you can fill it in like that is probably your best bet or just forget about it or just waste another vacuum chamber. I usually lay out the entire pattern first and then I put down my floor. And for some of the floor, I like to use the large tech cellar doors. They're very cheap. They cost two element, some crystal and some organic poly, and they take up a three by three area. And then once you set them to never auto open like this, don't auto open. Then you can just walk over them like floors and if you want to go down into the water it's very easy to just tap on that and go down when you want to come back up uh i don't have my tech chest piece so i'm pretty slow i'm so used to having a tech suit on 
and then you're up and in like that. So if you're raising water tames under your floor, it's really easy. Also, if you have tames that are on top of the floors, if you're raising on top and you open the floor, they won't fall through ever. I think if the doors open when the server resets, they'll fall through, but they just don't fall through. So you don't have to worry about if you're raising tames and you want to go under, you can just go through the door anyway. It's really nice. So once you have your floor built with your ceilings and your tech floors or cellar doors or whatever, uh, you have to decide what to do with these vacuum compartments. I would at least get rid of all the walls on them because they take up structure count. The structure count of each wall is just one. So this is getting rid of two, three, four structure count, five structure count. And you don't really need those anyway, unless you do, so it's up to you. And then the structure count of the compartment itself is just one. Even if you get rid of these frames, it still counts as one no matter what. Uh, so right now it's counting as two, because I have the floor here, and then the frames. Uh, this is just not, This is just one structure count now, and you can fill this with water and make it invisible. So if people are raiding your base, this will make it much more annoying for them to figure out where your vacuum compartments are and destroy them. The hitbox of the frames are still there, and this is how people destroy your stuff even when it's invisible. Here, this is much better proof. I'm gonna hide this frame and then shoot it a few times, and you can see it lost health. So yeah, the hitbox is still there, but if you make these invisible, people cannot see them. Obviously from a distance at all, unless they use a spyglass like this. And it's even really hard to see. Okay, so yeah, you can use a spyglass to see where they are because it's showing up there. But oh my gosh, is that gonna be a pain to try and destroy? You're just gonna people are just gonna be guessing and shooting at them. And you can use all of these as foundation support for a Fortnite in your base. And you can connect foundations at the bottom to make even more foundation support for your base. It just is a ridiculously strong thing to do. It's just invisible foundations, which are going to be really annoying for people to take out. So the last thing I learned about from someone else's video is you can actually snap the compartments to pillars. So if you have an existing build, put pillars on it. I don't know why it's obstructed by the pillars itself. Um, let's see if I use the small ones, sorry. So, okay, use the small pillars because the large pillars obstruct the vacuum compartment itself. So if you have an existing build, say you have like a turret wall or something, Say this is a turret wall and this vacuum compartment above here doesn't exist. Go ahead and, one sec, put down a pillar on the wall like this, one of the thin pillars that are added to the game recently. And you can snap a vacuum chamber to it. And then you can get rid of those pillars. I think that's all I had. And then you don't need this anymore and this will all stay supported because of this vacuum chamber. And then I can put that back. And I would just be careful where you snap the vacuum chambers to, because if I snapped this one wall higher, these wouldn't connect anymore, which might become annoying later in your building of your base. So just be careful of that. If you just always snap the vacuum chambers together to take them somewhere, like if I wanted to take this snap point way over to another room, I don't know what I'm doing, then I would just make a line and I would pick them up as I go and just leave one floating and then come back to it. And I would just take this over to this room and bring it up. I've already built in here, obviously, but this makes it so I keep the same snap point. So if I ever want to do something, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say because it depends on the person's build, but just keeping the same snap point throughout the base is always a good idea, especially when it comes to foundation support and defending because you can make Fortnites and do so much, so much easier without having to crisscross and make ugly builds. Uh, it's just, there's no reason to be lazy when you're building, honestly. Looking for the love. You've accomplished what few
you have. You've ascended. ascended.